Hello friends, this is Dr. Anjani, Assistant Professor in Biotechnology. Welcome to e-learning platform. Today we learn about the plastids. We learn about plastids. Plant cells are readily distinguished or differentiated from animals by the presence of two types of membrane bounded organelles. The plant cells are different from the animal cells due to the presence of two types of membrane bound compartments or the organelles that includes first one is vacuole and another one is plastid. So these two organelles are present only in the plant cells and they are absent in the animal cells. These plastids are originated from proplastids. Plastids are originated from the proplastids. These proplastids will give rise to plastids and these plastids depending on the function they perform these plastids are further classified into the leucoplast which is storage in its function and the another group is the chromoplast. The chromoplast and the leucoplast can gain the, the development of the chlorophyll and later they can become the chloroplast. So from the leucoplast when it is complete, continuously exposed to sunlight there is development of the pigment and this leucoplast will be converted into chloroplast. At the same time chromoplast will be rich in the colorful region of the plant like the fruits, flowers and the root and they can also develop the, the chlorophyll pigment and they will transform themselves into chloroplast. And uh, these leucoplast can be <coughs> classified based on the type of the, the storage material they store like amyloplast, helioplast and proteinoplast. We will see them in detail in the next slides. Types of plastics. The term plastid is derived from the Greek word plastikas. It is derived from the Greek word plastikas means formed or molded and was used the term plastid was used by Schimper in 1885. Schimper classified the plastids into following types according to their structure, pigments and functions they perform. Plastids are classified based on their structure, pigments and the functions they perform. So the different types of plastids are leucoplasts, chromoplasts and chloroplasts. First we will take up leucoplasts. Leuco refers to white plast means living. These leucoplasts are colorless plastids which are found in embryonic and germ cells and they are colorless plastids found in embryonic and germ cells. They are also found in meristematic cells. Meristematic cells which are involved in the, the growth and they are usually present at the tip of the, the growing region and they will be rapidly dividing and in those regions of plant which do not receive sunlight as the name suggests these they are observed in the region where the plant does not receive or where there is no the exposure of the the plant region to the sunlight in that region we will find the leucoplasts the plastids located in the cotyledons and primordium of the stem are colorless. So in this region we will find the leucoplast without the chlorophyll pigment they are storage in function. But eventually become filled with the chlorophyll and transform into chloroplast. But when the sunlight falls on these leucoplast for the very long time this leucoplast could be converted into chloro uh, chloroplast by the development of chlorophyll pigment. The true leucoplasts occur in fully differentiated cells such as epidermal and internal 
plant tissues they are usually occur in the fully differentiated cells such as epidermal and internal plant tissues true leucoplast do not contain thylakoids and even ribosomes they store the food materials like carbohydrates lipids and proteins and accordingly these leucoplasts are classified like <coughs> sorry amyloplasts as the name suggest they store the starch in them they are called amyloplast eleoplasts are present in the seeds of monocotyledons and the dicotyledons plant and they store lipids or oil in the monocotyledonous uh, seeds and the dicotyledonous seeds next third one is proteinoplasts proteinoplasts as the name suggest these are type of leucoplast they store the protein next another type of the plastid is chromoplast chromo refers to color plast means living so these are the type of the the plastids are the colored plastids containing carotenoids and other pigments they are non green in color and they contain the pigments like carotenoids and other pigments these chromoplasts impart color like yellow orange and red to certain portions of the plants such as flower petals in case of daffodils and rose we'll see the very colorful and attractive daffodils and rose that's mainly because of the the chromoplasts which have the the carotenoid pigment and fruits for example tomatoes they have the chromoplast and some roots like example uh, carrots carrots are also colorful because of the presence of chromoplasts the chromoplast structure is quite diverse they may be round ellipsoidal even needle shaped they change in their shapes in general chromoplasts have a reduced chlorophyll content and are thus less active photosynthetically chloroplasts have reduced chlorophyll content and they are less active in food preparation chromoplasts of blue green algae or cyanobacteria contain various pigments such as phycoerythrin phycocyanin chlorophyll a and carotenoids so these pigments are present in chromoplasts of blue, blue green algae so these blue green algae they carry phycoerythrin phycocyanin chlorophyll a and carotenoids types of chromoplasts pheoplast the pheoplast means dark brown pheo means dark brown plast means living pheoplast contain the pigment phucoxanthin which absorbs the light phucoxanthin pheoplasts occur in the diatoms dinoflagellates and brown algae pheoplast occur in di diatoms dinoflagellates and brown algae another type of the chromoplast is rhodoplast rod refers to red plast means living Con rhodoplast contain the pigment phycoerythrin which absorbs the light the rhodoplast occur in the red algae rhodoplast occur in red algae next another type of uh, or the last type of the plastid is the chloroplast chloro refers to green plast living so chloroplast is the most widely occurring chromoplast of the plants as i told earlier these the uh, other the two type of the uh, the plastids like leucoplast and the the chromoplast could be converted into chloroplast by continuous exposure to the sunlight and development of the pigment the chloroplast occur mostly in the green algae and higher plants they are present in green algae and higher plants the chloroplast contains the pigment chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b and dna and rna chloroplast occur in 
green algae and higher plants the chloroplast contains the pigment chlorophyll a and b along with dna and rna so this video lecture is regarding the the development of the plastids into different types like leucoplast chromoplast and chloroplast further leucoplast will be classified based on the type of the the uh, food material they store or the biomolecule they store so this video will give the introduction towards the how chloroplast is originated from the plastid in the next video we learn about the structure and function of the chloroplast i hope you understood the today's topic that is plastid thank you